What's going on everyone? It's Tay with Spectacular Gadgets. And today in this video, right now what we're taking a look at is, well, my smoke detector. So I want to go ahead and replace this old smoke detector with a new Ness Protect smoke detector. So you guys ready? Let's go ahead and take a look. Let's do this! I purchased the Nest Protect Alarm from Best Buy. Um, I initially purchased it from Amazon and then realized once it was delivered that I accidentally got the battery operated one and I specifically wanted the wired one so it could be wired into the house. So either or if you pick the battery or the wired you're going to be spending 120 per alarm. So I picked up two and I plan on picking up a third one depending on how this goes. So let's go ahead and take a look around the box of the new Nest Protect by Google. Spectacular gadgets. Now included in the box, let's go ahead and start with the reading material. So first off, you get Welcome Home. Next, you get Let's Get Started. After that, you also get Terms and Conditions. And then behind that, you get a warning sticker talking about carbon monoxide. So go ahead and take a look at that if you need. White seemed to be the only color option they had for this alarm. On the back, you'll notice they have the AC connector pins for the 120 volt connector. You'll have the serial number and other things on the back. They also include this back plate. So this is what will be screwed up on the ceiling or the wall and then the alarm goes on top of that. It looks like installation will be pretty easy for this alarm. Now here are a few items that you'll need to install. So first up, you'll notice the 120 volt connector. So this will be wired into the ceiling. This will be plugged into the back of the alarm. These are three wire nuts, which you'll use to twist the wires. And then lastly, they give you four mounting screws. So this will screw the back plate on to the ceiling or the wall. Here you have the nest button as well as a light ring that changes color depending on what is going on with the alarm. Taking a look around the alarm, I want to go ahead and bring your attention to the backup batteries. Now for the wired alarm, you will get three backup batteries that is supposed to last for quite some time. Now let's get a little bit more information about what the colors of the light ring mean. And as you see here, they have all the different colors and the meanings, but red is for an emergency. So you need to take that very seriously. So here it is a key to what all the colors mean. It also has a speaker to let you know that something's wrong in a human voice as well as a horn. Now let's go ahead and get into it. I'll be using the Google Pixel 4a to go ahead and get the app and get this started. So what you wanna do is go to the Play Store. You're gonna go ahead and type in Google Nest Protect, which actually just brings up Nest. You'll go ahead and open that. And then now you're gonna to want to add a product once you're in that app. The easiest way to set this up and add your product is to scan the code. So you'll simply take the QR code on the back of the alarm, scan that, and it will automatically add the product as you see. Now moving forward, it's going to say, make sure that you have all the Nest Protects that you're going to set up, as well as your Wi-Fi password, ladder, and screwdriver. Now what you need to do is figure out the location of your alarm and you want to name that. So in the app, they give you a list of popular places or names that they have, but if you scroll down, to the very bottom, you can add a custom if you'd like. But for this, I'm just going to go ahead and put downstairs. So it already knows that I actually have a Nest doorbell. So setup is they're talking to each other. So that's pretty cool. Now it says to wake up Nest Protect. So I'll go ahead and do that now. 
Hi, from Nest. Hola, saludos de Nest. Press the button now for English. Ready. Press to test. Ready. Press to test. This is only a test. The alarm will sound. The alarm is loud. The test starts in 10 seconds. Press to cancel. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is only a test. Testing smoke. Testing carbon monoxide. The test is finished. Everything looks good. So setting up is not very hard at all. It's finishing up right now. It's been added to my account. Now I'll go ahead and add my second Nest Protect. This is only a test. The alarm will sound. The alarm is loud. The test starts in 10 seconds. Press to cancel. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is only a test. Testing smoke. Testing carbon monoxide. The test is finished. Everything looks good. We're connecting to the basement alarm and that is cool, but let's now go ahead and take off the old smoke detector so we can install the Nest Protect. So we have already turned the power off to the alarm, so it is safe to remove the connector from the old alarm. And we will still go ahead and test the wires to make sure that everything is safe. Now we're going to go ahead and unscrew the old backplate from the ceiling so we can install the new backplate. Now what he's doing is he's actually unscrewing um, the wire nuts to remove the old connector. And looking at the wire nuts, we're gonna actually keep the old ones on because there's nothing wrong with them. So once you remove the old connector, you're gonna go ahead and take the new 120 volt connector and go ahead and replace it. Spectacular Gadgets. Once you're satisfied with that, go ahead and push those wires back into the wall or the ceiling. And now you can go ahead and have the connector hanging so you can put the back plate on. So here's the new back plate. And we'll go ahead and put the wires in the middle so they can hang out. And then simply go ahead and screw in the new back plate. Now, this new back plate is actually smaller than the old one, so I will have to do some painting to make that look much nicer. But I just kind of want to show you this real quick. Ready, downstairs. Press to test. Now let's go ahead and bring it back to the app and we want to go through the app, see what it has to offer. So this is telling me about the path light, which I do have on for the downstairs alarm and we'll continue to go. So sound check, we'll toggle that on and then they can give you uh, preferred times that you want if you don't want the default. So you have four choices there for the sound check. Then it just says to install Nest Protect which we did, you run the safety check and you just have to press it twice to go ahead and start the safety check. Okay, so now both alarms are installed, the one downstairs and the one in the basement. 
what you're seeing here now is remember I told you that we turned the power off so that we can safely install the alarm. So what the app is reading right now is that there's no power. So we have restored the power and we'll simply wait for the green light and the app to realize everything is good. So here we go. Everything is okay in the basement and the downstairs. So it registered that the power is back on. You may notice now that I have actually changed downstairs to first floor. Now within the app, you have plenty of options to go ahead and change and adjust. So Pathlight is the first one. You can have this off, on, or always on. Now by default, it is selected to be on. The next option or setting that you have is Nightly Promise. Now what this does is it will glow yellow if there is a problem, even if you turn off Nightly Promise. And by default, that is toggled on. Steam check, I won't have a problem with the first floor, but this alarm is smart enough to distinguish steam from smoke. Heads up, what this does is it will give you an advanced warning that smoke or carbon monoxide levels are rising, but it's not loud. Now within the app, you can make your setting adjustments, but please note that um, the adjustments that you make are not automatic and it will take some time. Now what I'm gonna say is that this is a huge improvement over my old smoke detector. Not only is this a smoke detector, but it also detects carbon monoxide. It also gives you a nice friendly human voice. It gives you uh, a path light and so much more. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. I wanna thank everyone for taking the time to chill with me as we go through this journey. And until next time, everyone, I want you all to have a spectacular day. Later.